Hi everyone, so I'm going to be going over a demo on how to go through this Android Studio and how to set up your environment. So right over here we got um, Android Studio when it just initially sets up. And what we want to do is we actually want to go to this More Actions right here. And in More Actions, what we want to do is we want to click on Virtual Device Manager. So right over here in the Device Manager, Initially, you will not have anything here. I already have some stuff because I've been working with it lately. And what you could do if you need a new device, you click on Create Device right here at the top left. And right over here, we can go through the step-by-step -step process. So because you guys, for your final project, are working with phones, um, click on the Phone category. And then here, you can click on any device that you want. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the sizes will be slightly different, but it's really up to you. And what I'm going to do, I'll just make a new one for right now. Let's see here. I will try... I'll try the Nexus 6 right here. And then I'll click Next. And then here, these are just like release name versions. It doesn't really matter too much which one you choose. I'm just going to stick with R, it's fine. Here, you don't really have to change anything unless you want your application to be landscape. I'm just going to make it portrait. And then I'll click finish. And right here we got the Nexus 6 API. So let's click on this action right here. It's like a play button. If I click on it, it's going to take a few seconds to launch the emulator, but you will see soon that you'll get this device that looks exactly like phone on your desktop. And right over here, we can see that we have our device has been set up and ready to go. So this is how we get our initial setup on our Android application. So now what we have to do actually is we have to go to Visual Studio Code and we have to install our new application. So let me just make a new terminal here. And we'll do, so we'll run npx create expo app and we'll just say so we'll just call this um, application class one and it's on our desktop okay now that it's finished installing all we have to do is just drag and drop the folder, like always, into Visual Studio. You'll see a set of default files here that have been installed for us. So we got our package.json to see any packages when we start installing them. And then here, app.js is the most important because this is where the initial start point of the application will start. And we'll get into more detail it. We'll get into more detail in another video, but here, this is where the actual application starts. So right here, it'll say open up app.js to start working on your app. And here, assets for any of your images. And there will be another folder that's separate for screens, which is just like pages in Next.js. And what we'll do first is we're going to open up a terminal, new terminal. And I'm going to run this application. So if I do npx expo start, and I'll just expand this terminal so you see what's going on here. And you'll see a bunch of optional um, items that we could push here on our keyboard. So we are going to open it with Android. So all we have to do is press the A key on our keyboard. But before we do that, I'm going to scroll up here. There's this QR code. So if you actually install this app 
if you install the app called Expo Go on your phone, you are able to then scan the QR code and then get the exact um, design that you'll have on this application on your phone. So make sure you try this out. Just make sure you download the Expo Go on your phone and then scan the QR code just by going to your camera and it should open up automatically and load on your, your cell phone the exact thing that you will see on the application that you are developing. But I'm just going to be using the Android Studio one right now because I want you guys to see it. So I'm going to press the letter A here on my keyboard to open it up with Android. And if it's your first time running this application, it will install Expo Go on this virtual cell phone. And eventually you'll see this cell phone, the virtual cell phone, begin to load Expo Go. And it's going to start installing. And it will eventually show the text from our application on the screen. And I'm just trying to reload this mobile application. I'll just try hitting R for reloading the application. So if this doesn't work, then... Oh, there we go. So there we go. So after a few seconds here, it just takes some time to load and start up. But I'm just going to remove this pop-up. You'll see here, open up app.js to start working on your app. It's the same text here that we have here. And if I change this to like test, save, there we go. See, we get the text right there on our screen. So that's how we go about opening up or, and starting the Expo application. And if we want to end the Expo, if we want to end the Expo application, all we have to do is hold down Control C on our keyboard, and then it'll end it right here.